All right, welcome back to Shadowrun. In fact, that you could say this might be a return of Shadowrun. Or in present tense, that Shadowrun returns now. Let's stop fucking around and get back into it. Alrighty. Run in the Seattle sprawl, and sooner or later, in the, you'll end, find yourself in the Redmond Barrens. It doesn't matter your business. The Barrens doesn't like you. Take one part radioactive wasteland, three parts dog-eat-dog -dog slum, and add a dash of tourist trap, and you've got a recipe for mean as hell. You leave the sanitized death and formaldehyde of organ grinders behind, and entering the anarchy and desperation of the streets. Jake stops for a moment to breathe deeply, filling his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite, and who knows what else. He exhale, expa exhales with an expression of wry contentment. The stench and grime can tell he's at home. Alright, so if you guys remember, uh, we finished up at the morgue, and we found that dude in the morgue, Jake, and here we are, hitting the streets. Let's see here, um, you said your Jake Armitage, you said your stash was nearby? Alright, cool. I don't know if the bus stops here, dude, what are you talking about? Hey lady, for a date, orcs are your favorite. Yeah, you know, I bet you say that to all the guys. Speaking of that, we can zoom in. That's kind of cool. All right, well, we're going to go back here, I think. Oh, yeah, here. Jake's stash. Hidden in the garbage strewn alley is a tech is a high-tech safe with a mag card reader on the front. Open the safe with Jake's mag card. With a smooth hiss, the safe opens to reveal a collection of gear that's a perfect match for your skills. You take the gear. The DM loves me. Hell yeah, man. Alright, what do we got? Uh, huh? Send this item to my stash? Sure. Too much. I've got too much stuff. Sure. Aw, uh, what up, dude? Hand over the loot, bozos. Okay. Bro gonna have to you're gonna have to hold on here you're gonna have to take this right in your face old. yeah dude the graphics in this game the dude's all bloody look at that that's pretty sweet all right cool jake you know what you're gonna do finish that guy off oh yeah i <laughs> like i'm this huge ass orc and i'm just hiding back there can I aim? Yeah, let's aim. What up, jerk? How do you like them apples? What up? Committed some murder. Alright. So welcome to the barum, Barons. I guess I'll need to find a new spot to hide my gear. Good dead drops are hard to keep. At least they're too dumb to break the maglock. Now that you've got some gear, let's go deal with those Halloweeners. Okay. I suppose. Let's see what exactly gear I do have. Um, a nice security pistol. Some items. Jake doesn't have anything, so let's give him a couple of... Can we, um, give items to... Can we even mess with Jake's inventory? Yeah, we can. What is this thing? Hey, an Ares Predator! Class C. seem to be vexed by this interface a little bit. Not quite sure how to move stuff over. Well, I guess whatever. I will just not worry about it right now. Cool. Alright, let's hit the streets. Hey, man. What's the deal? The man before you appears well-mannered but nervous. Excuse me, sir. I don't know you, but you look like you can handle yourself in a fight. We need some help. What's your problem, dude? Some thugs have been shaking down the market we've set up here, and it's been getting worse lately. I don't think we can afford to pay them anymore, but no one will stand up to them, and Lone Star isn't about to get involved. Yeah, Lone Star kind of blows. Um... Yeah, where's this market? 
It's down the street, sir. Livelihoods to depend on this market. Well, that's nice. All right, Jake, come on. So, hey, Sarah, what's up? Sarah! Sarah! Clothes may be dirty, but this woman is far from downtrodden. Hey, not that it's my business, but I wouldn't go that way. What's going on? Halloweeners stirring up trouble. Rode in on those fancy bikes, set up camp in the old street market, been marching up and down the street all day, shaking down anyone that wanders past. Typical. Odds are those are the guys we're after. They're going to be in for a rude surprise. You might want to clear up before the shooting starts. They're a tough bunch, though. Don't say I didn't warn you. Well, you did warn me. That's really nice of you. Um... Oh, it's cool. She has like a backpack with a sign. All right, let's um, let's go. I think the gold one is our actual marker, so let's go this way because the uh, market's over here first. We can handle these guys. <coughs> and then, yeah, commerce is like a weed, taking root in the cracks and the crevices. The world, wherever it can. A small street market has flourished here amidst the crumbling buildings. Hey, head thug. Hey, ass butt. Hey, ass butt. The thug attempts to use his bulk and hideous breath to intimidate the shopkeeper, but the old woman is holding firm. You can see the thug's patience fading fast. He looks like he's about to start breaking things. I don't have any gang etiquette. Um, I bet your mom's real proud of you. I don't see a badge, so why don't you mind your own? Because I'm sick of gutter punks like you, Captain Face Tattoo. Haha, <laughs> I knew you were looking to cause static dash. Ice this guy. Ooh, Jesus. Dude's got a shotgun. Oh, uh, there's that dash? Yeah. I bet she, she casts ice spells. Right in your butt. Okay, Jake, I'm gonna need you to... do something clever. Nice. When I said that, I knew that I could count on you. Good buddy. You, sir, are a boss. That was awesome. <laughs> All right. Hey, Miss James, what's up? I hate to see so much bloodshed and, on f and people on fire. Simply want to make sure. Uh, I'll take it. The streets are a hard place to live. I would love to just give them the, let them keep the money, but I need to pay rent. And maybe not rent, but I need to buy things. I never really did um, get, like, when you'd go and you'd play Knights of the Old Republic, you know, the, the I either have to give away everything I own or um, I eat babies. So one of the things I like about Shadowrun is it's a little bit more gray. The actual um, tabletop game doesn't have any kind of alignment system at all. You're just up to doing whatever you do, and if you feel bad about it, well, that's your own problem. But uh, this game's a little bit more cut and dried, but can still be kind of a nice guy. Hey, ass wipes. Take another step forward and we're going to plant you right there. This is Halloweener property now. This is one of the two that got away. If I hadn't missed my shot, these idiots would have ended up and given up and moved on by now. Wait a minute. You're rolling with Jake? Bad idea, chummer. Halloweeners are collecting that bounty and killing you? It'll be a nice bonus. Hey, Halloweeners. Your name has wiener in it. Prepare to die. Oh shit, there's all kinds of them here. Let's see. Um, Alright, Jake, you're gonna have to open up a can. And by can, I mean, like, let's start with you right now. And see what spells you got. Hmm. <laughs> he can heal people? That's pretty cool. Alright, what you're gonna do is you're gonna whip that shit over there. Yeah! From that too. Oh crap, you can only I didn't cast a second spell. Oh well. Damn it. Oh. Ooh. Sucks to be you. Let's aim. Haha. Dang it. I'm not particularly strategic. I just sort of stand in the street and shoot from wherever that happens to be. Um, I might have to improve my strats later in this game. 
but for now it seems to be working just fine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move over there. And then we're gonna be like, hey man, what's up? You know what I wanna do? I wanna cast fire on you again. I'm sort of regretting I'm not playing a mage, but. Oh well. Ice that clown. Holy crap. John Paul? Oh man. Alright. Hey John, guess what? Buddy, let's burn you. Yeah. Can we do that again? Oh, it has. Oh, yeah. I'm going to overload. I'm going to just keep casting. Take the 12 damage. That's fine. All right, now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uncle, uncle. I was just playing with you. I'll call off the rest of the Halloweeners, Jake. Call it even. What do you think, Jake? I'm already at shoot and sight status with these guys. Killing John Paul means one less wiener to shoot me in the back while I'm buying smokes. Hell, they'll be doing it the same to you as soon as there's profit in it. I want him to tell his friends what happened here. How naive. Ah, oh, well, maybe it's worth it to see him running off with his tail between his legs. Get out of here, pigs, before I shoot you. Jackass. All right. So, hey, Jake, you sticking around? Oh, yeah, he has to show me to the murder site, so he will be for a while. Just kind of chug along here. There's the murder site. I don't want to go down there just yet. Let's go talk to this guy in the corner. Dan the Donut Man. Hey, Dan, what's up? The smell of fried food, powdered sugar, and slightly burned soy calf is almost enough to overpower the dusty sewage and stench of Redmond's streets. The troll is working in a stand covered in food stains older than he is. What can I get you, chummer? I'll take a jelly donut and a soy calf. Soda, um, see the murder? Nope, I was closed when it happened, but hey, it's the Barons. A back alley killing's nothing new around here, and the only reason the cops are making a big deal about this ripper business is some of the victims are real people. You know, folks with sins. Can you tell me about the Barons? The Barons. Hell, if you have to ask, you probably shouldn't be out here. This stretch we're on is called Touristville, though. I suppose it's the closest thing around here to respectable. Fewer muggings. And you might even survive drinking the water if you're lucky. I wouldn't remember it, though. He scratches his armpit. <laughs> now, behind me, that's a seamstress's union. That's useful information. You want drinks, drugs, or favors, or information around here, the union's your spot. Hell, that place is the reason I'm in business. Folks get the munchies when they party, and Miss Kubota owns a joint. She's quality, a hard woman, but fair. All right, well, thanks, Dan. See you around. So I'm going to take this moment to uh, just sort of explain. For those of you that don't know, uh, what that sin that he mentioned in all capitals um, is a identification number that people who are basically registered citizens will have a sin and people who aren't like me and pretty much every other shadow runner and the homeless um, don't have sins or have fake sins um, those that don't have sins can't get access to health care can't get access to all kinds of things and basically don't have a future because once you're on once you're sinless there's really no way to go the other way other than to buy some sort of expensive facsimile thereof that um basically is outside of anyone's price range so occasionally you'll see uh shadow runners that are big business that'll have fake sins or have sins that switch so that they don't show their real colors um but as of right now one if, basically if you're sinless you're shit out of luck Let's talk to the, let's talk to Bobby. Hey, Chummer, got some tasty morsels for you. Just what every well-dressed Shadowrunner should have in his back pocket. Let's see what you got, buddy. Kamikaze? Ooh. And Nitro. These look like combat stim. It's kind of cool. You know, I don't need that shit. Thanks, man, but no. Hey, let's go talk to Sally. Oops. I always keep bumping that button. The dwarf merchant is packing up her stand for the night. I'm closed. Come back tomorrow. 
You've got a great view of that alley across the street. Don't suppose you saw the murder that happened here. She grunts. Sure, I was closing up when I heard a series of explosions from behind the Union. A couple of seconds later, this guy comes out. Run across the street. Didn't get a good look at him. When all the lights in the alley exploded all of a sudden, things got pretty quiet after that. Let me guess. You didn't go over there and check if he was okay. Hell no. Round here, that kind of thing gets you killed. Thanks for your time, Sally. Nobody here wants to help. Which I suppose is what you'd expect. But, uh, oh, hey, there's the murder. Alright, well, let's cruise back down around and see if we can get in there. Chomping big dude here. As you approach the scene of Sam's murder, Jake spies the flashing red and blue lights up ahead. Whoa, hold up a minute. Lone Star isn't above collecting a corp-issued bounty. And the one on my head isn't going away anytime soon. He sighs. Sorry, friend, but I think this is where our paths diverge. Thanks again for your help with those Halloweeners. Here's your payment. Don't take Nguyen where I'm from, or they don't take Nguyen where I'm going, and you look like you could use the funds. Sounds good. Likewise, Jake, give me a call when you're in the clear. Yeah, sure. He starts to leave and then tilts his head back. Hey, one more thing. When you're done checking out your pal's crime scene, pop into the Seamstresses Union. It's just down the street. You need gear, information, or just a damn stiff drink? That's the place to be. Best dive this side of Chicago. I used to. That place is a base of operations for years back in the day. You make the right friends there, and you'll be sure to get the bottom of this ripper business. Thanks, Jake. Well, it's nice knowing you. Jake turns and disappears into the shadowy depths of the Redmond Barrens, off to be cool somewhere else. See you, guy. Alrighty, um, let's go head up that crime scene. The bright yellow police tape cuts through the darkness, directing your eyes to the wa a white chalk outline and a de dark red stain in the slab of pavement where Sam Watts died. Standing at the entrance to the alley is a Lone Star officer. The cop looks cold, hungry, and irritated at the homeless man who's currently pestering him. I keep telling you, I need to get my stuff out of the alley or I'm going to die in the cold tonight. The officer sighs, and I've been trying to explain to you that this is an official Lone Star investigation, and I can't let anyone in there. Hey, I got rights. Look, you sinless garbage. I've got a job to do. Find a new blanket, or I'll use, find reason to use my stun baton. Typical. I hate all you pigs. All right. Hey, Will, William, whoa, buddy. Looks in your direction. I'm going to say, long night, huh? You looked cold, so I picked up a soy calf for you. Officer lights up, so he takes a sip. Seems pretty trusting for an officer of the law. You know, my dad was a cop back when the cops actually worked for the government. He used to said folks used to buy him coffee all the time, but I ain't seen it till now. What can I do for you? Um, let's see. My pleasure. I'm here from Internal Affairs to review the friends this guy's work. Sure, dig in. I wouldn't mind those guys getting taken down a peg or two. Man, they do put on airs, if you know what I mean. Yeah, their job's more important than standing around, pestering homeless guys. But you know what? Before we go in there, let's talk to William here. You said something about a blanket, buddy? Streets have not been kind to this man. They have also hardened him. This man is clearly a survivor, although one wrestling with the onset of age and arthritis. You. I saw you over there with that rat bastard cop. What do you want? Know anything about the murder that took place? He squints at you, suspicious. Are you a copper or working from some corp? Nope, I'm sinless as you. What makes you think I'm sinless? Ha! <laughs> Just messing with you. Of course I'm sinless. System, I denumber my ass. What kind of questions he got? So it sounds like you live in this alley. Sure, for the last couple of months I've been sleeping there. But I spend my days out doing odd jobs for the street merchants, or panhandling for tourists near the, over near the seamless, seamstresses union. Did you see the murder? Nope, and I can't say I'm sorry I missed it. I was hauling crates for Miss J Mrs. James up at the market. I can't carry as many as I used to, so it took a while. Gotta get back here in time to see a couple of tourists puking all over the home turf. By then, that jerk face in the uniform had already set up shop in my alley. What else did you see that night? Huh. Well, you know, earlier in the night, I saw a big ugly troll in green hospital scrubs snooping around the block. He bought some donuts, two cups of soy calf off of Dan over there. Seemed nervous. And all he did was, uh... 
and he did everything with his left hand because his right was all screwed up with some cyberware. Tell me more about that cyberware? Well, it was big. I must have had some hospital attachments because I saw some needles. It was a lot like the one I saw back in 44 when I got captured by elves. They did all sorts of experiments on me. Let me tell you, never trusted one of them cyber people. Well, at least you're racist. That's all I needed to know, buddy. See you around. No, you know what? William, buddy, I'm gonna... Hey there. Okay, well, I'm gonna get you your shit back. So let's go over there. Looks like a coat and blanket the old man is trying to get back. Pick up the coat and blankets. Pick up the bundle of cloth. Our printed receipt falls out from beneath the folds of the blanket. It's a bar tab receipt for the Stream Sisters Union. Dated two days ago at 3.02 a.m. Right around the corner's reported time of death. The customer? Sam Watts. The server's name listed as Coyote. Let's go get your shit back, buddy. Here you go. Give him his coat and blankets. My stuff. Mighty decent of you. You don't see that kind of thing out here too often. Honestly, man, that quest was great. Your stuff was over here, and you were over here. Didn't have to do a thing. Here, yeah, I'm gonna go back in. Amidst the shards of glass from the broken lights, you find a small piece of glass, which looks like the bottom of some kind of tube. Alright. There are two distinct sets of footprints. A human's ending at the chalk outline, and a larger set, possibly an orc or troll. Following just behind the first. So it looks like our friend in the scrubs came and gave Sam a visit. The work light is new. You can see that the air alley's normal lights have been ruined. Upon closer inspection, it seems that they've all imploded. So whoever he was, was good enough at magic or tech, blow out all the lights so it was dark, and then he came in here and hacked up Sam. And I'm having a feeling that our, maybe not the killer, but somebody, something to do with it as a captain with the scrubs. So I think that's good enough for me. Let's go talk to Dan the Donut Man again. He might remember seeing a troll if we talk to him a little bit more. Hey, Dan. Yeah, yeah. You sell some donuts to a troll wearing scrubs last night? Maybe. What's it to you? I sell a lot of donuts to a lot of people. I know how Lone Star profiles metahumans. I tell them about a troll that bought donuts from me right before a murder. They'd haul them in just to see if anyone will pay the bail. Not today, my friend. Whatever. Whatever, man. All right. Let's see. Anybody else I want to talk to before I head in there? Best place to party, huh? All right. Well, let's head into the Seamstresses Union. Sure. Sounds good.